Can you tell me just a bit about what you teach and as well, what advice you might have for students around how lecturers can support students? Yeah, hi, Sue. Lovely to be here with you today. Um, so I teach in School of Health Sciences in the Waterford campus and uh, teach on a master's programme, which is off site. So our students go to a venue in Dublin and it's a blended programme, so we meet once a month and then we are online in between blocks. So um, deal with a lot of adults who come back into education after having quite a break. Um, some people are coming having had degrees, others are coming um, with very little experience, but have a real passion for the subject area that we are involved with. So we get all types of learners on the programme. How can lecturers in particular provide support to students throughout their uh, course? Yeah, well, I think for adult learners in particular coming back, um, I think lecturers who teach that type of group really understand how important it is to build a relationship and to have dialogue with those students and for students to recognize that, you know, we are human and we can be busy, but we are there to support them to thrive and flourish in their education. So um, it takes time to get to know people granted mm -hmm. but I think it's really important to show up and to listen to our students I think that's one of the things that's so important and really read the signs when maybe people are a little stressed so um, I think it's a little catchphrase but the just ask I think is a really useful one just ask ask a staff member and I appreciate if students aren't on site all of the time and they're at home you know getting a bit stressed about something it's always useful to drop an email, you know, either to other peers on the course who might be able to help. Um, but if that's not supporting them, drop an email to the lecturer and, um, you know, we get back to you as soon as we can. Um, and sometimes I know in, in, in some situations it might be an invitation to have a quick chat over mm -hmm. a Zoom call or a Teams call. Um, if it is a complex situation that they might need a bit of support on, um, course leaders, staff would be open to that um, in certain situations, you know. OK, so there is channels of communication there, even though you're not in the traditional kind of face to face environment every day. There's other options for building that, yeah. kind of, like you say, building the relationship. Of course, yeah. And if 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 we're not hearing from students, you know, we'll assume everything is OK. So if a student is um, struggling, it's really important, you know, to let 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 us know and we'll hopefully be able to put them on the right path fairly quickly. You know, even if it's something as simple as having an issue with my Moodle, it could be something they don't feel comfortable asking Moodle. If they ask a staff member, they could provide a link straight away to get them sorted, you know, so I think something as simple as that would be use would, would be important. Just ask. Yeah. Brilliant. And is there any particular, again, like you say, you're dealing with particular cohorts of people who are probably working, studying part time. Are there particular kind of obstacles that that they tend to encounter that might be different, say that like again from our full time face to face students? I think a, a big main obstacle would be navigating the virtual learning environments and availing of the supports. Um, a lot of um, blended learners or off-site learners don't realise how much is actually on our website. And one piece of advice I would give any adult learner is sit down on a computer, take your time to navigate the website. You know, your course will give you a handbook and tips. Sit down with a cup of coffee. Don't make it to be a stressful experience. Just say, I'm going to just play with the website here. I can't delete mm -hmm. anything. Yeah. And, you know, even doing over coffee with a friend, you know, and doing it nice and slowly, I think it would be a beginning point. Like a lot of people, it's only until you need something that you might go look for it. Um, so go back to your handbook, the course handbook, go back to the module descriptors. A lot of a lot of courses now will have a group chat set up somewhere, you okay. know. Um, we encourage our students, you know, to set up their own informal WhatsApp group, you know, so they could say, oh, anyone know where to find blah, blah, blah. And that way then they, there's a lot of peer support happening as well, you know. Um, but if you are the type of learner that needs to contact the staff member, I would say 
contact them by email. Just bear in mind, staff are busy. They might miss mm -hmm. an email. My inbox gets full very quick. So I would say if you don't hear from staff in a, in a day or so, I'd say two days. You know, just drop an email back saying, just wondering, you might have missed my email. I appreciate how busy you are. You know, staff sometimes forget or they say, I'll come back to it. And then the day runs away from them. So um, it's not that they didn't think you were important. It's that they're just busy and they might just need a gentle reminder or nudge to get back mm -hmm. to you. Mm -hmm. mm. Absolutely. And I think as well, I suppose there's so many different supports available. And sometimes, like you say, if you're not on site every day, you mightn't kind of be sure who to go to in which instance. Yeah. And um, that's part of, I suppose, what we're trying to do with this programme, with the help, um, is we've kind of tried to collate the main things together, bring them together so that as a first port of call, if you kind of think, maybe my lecturer isn't the one to ask about Moodle or whatever, who should I be talking to? You should hopefully be able to get the right person there. You know, so we've kind of tried to pick out the key bits, especially for um, learners who are lifelong learners or part time or online um, to be able to dip in kind of quickly to get the bits mm. that they need and jump out then to the bigger resources Abs that are there. Yeah. And Sue, can I just say like the team that are in the library, that are in computer services, that are in um, the virtual learning environments, they are amazing. They are so good and so kind to students when they contact them, you know, and yes, they can, you know, might miss things too, but they have been a great support to my students in the past when they have hit a bump in the road with some technical stuff that is not my remit um, mm -hmm. and um, they're able to sort it with with them. So, um, yeah, that it's brilliant that you're talking about that as well. Yeah. Yeah, there's a whole network there of people to support you. There will be someone to answer the question. So, yeah, um, I think that's really good advice. Like you say, just ask. Um, it, it's so true. And like you say, we don't know that there's an issue unless people link in. So don't be afraid to kind of link in. Yeah. As soon, you know, wave the flag as soon as as soon as you Absolutely, need to. Absolutely. You know? Yeah. Um, and I know it's cliche. We say there's no such thing as a stupid question. But honestly, you know, when you're coming back into education, there is you know, no, no stupid question. Um, I know like mo like the virtual learning environment gets updated. I had to ask a colleague the other day, how do you do something really basic? Because it was just, it threw me. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's just, you know, it's, it's, a, it's hard to ask, but it's really important to develop that skill. Everybody mm -hmm. needs help. We all need help. So um, just ask, I think is, um, is simple, but it's effective. Yeah, and they are great tools, but like that, you don't want the, the tool, something like the virtual learning environment to get in the way of why you're there to learn. Exactly. You know? So getting those issues sorted and, and it is daunting, but it can actually be once it's overcome, it's actually a great tool once you get the hang of it and get comfortable yeah. with it. So it's just it does need a little bit of investment of time or a little bit Hi. of a learning curve. But then. Yeah. Cup yeah, of coffee, really sit down, take yeah. your time. I think students expect themselves to know something very quickly, you know, and when you're coming back, I would say give yourself a chance, give put a mm. time limit on how much time you'll try and understand. You know, you're not going to get it all in one go. So bit by bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. absolutely. OK, well, thank you very much. That's really good advice. And thanks a million for talking to me today. You're very welcome, Sue. Thank you. Thank you.